dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. My guess is that you know all the lyrics to that song, but there's some things in there I find kind of curious. Let's take that song apart and see what history we can learn about our sleigh. You down for the ride? Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh? This curved design would have stopped some of that snow from hitting you in the face. It was designed by a carriage maker in 1836 in upstate New York. He used steam to bend the wood and give it this beautiful teacup shape. It's primarily made out of wood with a little bit of metal structure, including on the bottom of the runners. To make it even fancier, there would have been pinstripe on the front and on the sides. Ours has been painted over, but you can see a little ghost of that paint on the front. It also has a beautiful red and black fancy upholstery. Where it's been rotted due to the weather, you can look inside and see little bits of shaved wood. It was often called wood wool or excelsior padding and that would have given this some comfort from all those bumps and moves that you have encountered on your sleigh ride. What's with the bells on bobtail ring making spirits bright? A bobtail was a trimmed horse's tail that kept the reins from getting tangled and the bells would have let other people know on a cold quiet winter night that you were out on a ride and coming their way. The word jingle was a verb in this case. It would have meant to jingle the bells. Now we use it as the name of a song. This sleigh would have not been used for hauling or working. It was used for leisure. You would take it visiting or touring. A story by Robert Sneed appeared in the Macomb Daily Journal that tells us a little bit about what it was like to take a sleigh ride on a winter's night. He writes, a bright star shone down from the west and one by one the heavens were full. The night grew colder and the snow no longer clung to the horse's hoofs. The runners of the sleigh creaked and whined in an uncanny way. If the bright stars didn't lift your spirits, then maybe having Miss Fanny Bright seated by your side would. In the late 1800s, leisure became popular and sledding was considered healthy. Most young women, though, would have been accompanied by an older sister or family member as a chaperone. That was kind of difficult in a two-seated sleigh. Young adults often organized sleighing parties as a way to spend some time together, all while taking in the healthy winter air. Even the most pleasurable sleigh ride can become upsot. So misfortune was his lot, and the sleigh became upsot. The composer was using an old English form of the word upset to rhyme with lot. These sleighs were prone to tip over, despite the way the runners are curved out. They were lightweight, and it didn't take much for them to become upset. So get a bobtail bay, 240 is his speed. Hitch up to an open sleigh and crack, you'll take the lead. This is all about speed. 240 meant a horse could travel one mile in two minutes and 40 seconds. That's about 22 miles an hour. The leisure movement also gave rise to an interest in professional sports and horse racing and boxing were two most popular at the time. So if you're trying to impress Miss Fanny Bright seated by your side, winning that race might have just been the ticket. We have James Pierpont to thank for writing One Horse Open Sleigh, or Jingle Bells as we know it today. It was first published in 1857 by Ordway Publishing Company in Boston, Massachusetts. The company also ran a well-known minstrel show that used non-Africans in blackface to characterize dark-skinned people of African descent. It's worth noting that James's father and brother, both preachers and well-known abolitionists, served on the Union side of the Civil War. James wrote music for the Confederacy, including Strike from the South, and fought for the Confederate side. I think there's always something we can learn from history. Let's take a clue from One Horse Open Sleigh. Let's enjoy some leisurely activity, get your Miss Fanny Bright by your side, jingle some bells, and have a wonderful holiday season. Mm -hmm.